Hey, this is Matt with GearZombie.com, and we're at NAMM 2016. We're standing over talking to Sensophonics, and they are a custom inner monitor company. Um, they've got some really cool technology, and we're standing with Michael. He's going to talk to us about it a little bit. How you doing? I'm good, thanks. Worn out. Yeah, I bet. But it's the last day. It's been a busy show for us uh, because we do have such unique products for the industry. We're the only company making them in soft rubber silicone as opposed to plastic. Sure. And the purpose for that, because we're doctors, we understand hearing, wellness, and sound of the ear. If you can get deep into the ear canal with a seal, you can get enough seal to bring levels down where you don't have to turn up the ear monitors too loud. When you use them in hard materials like plastic, they have to undersize them because that would be painful to your ear down that deep. And right. they sometimes, so they never really fit that tight in plastic. It's hard to get a good fit. Uh, one of the problems, though, that comes with the silicone isolation is people feel like they're too separated from the other musicians on stage, acoustically, and from their audience, and even drummers from their own instrument. They feel disconnected sometimes with ear monitors. So, a lot of times they pull one out of their ear, which right. is the worst thing you can do for your hearing because it causes you to turn up the ear 6 dB louder. Two ears together called binaural summation actually makes your brain think it's 6 dB louder. So you have to turn it up twice as loud or twice as intense, half as loud to get it to sound the way it did with two ears. Right, right. And then you have an open ear getting beat up. Right. So we don't like you pulling one out for hearing purposes and it really doesn't sound that good because you got delays between the two ears as well. The other thing people do is punch a hole in it, which is also bad because you've lost your isolation and now you're just going to crank up your belt pack until you can overcome the ambient sound on stage. What bands started doing was putting ambient mics facing the audience, which give you a sense of the room and, the, and all that. The problem is you turn around and look at your drummer and he's still somewhere in the middle. Right. And your guitar amp didn't change and when you run to the front of the audience to hear some somebody scream something at you. It could have been anywhere out there because they have overheads and they don't know where it's coming. So you lose direction, you lose spatial cues, and people will take it out still. So we created an ear monitor that has active mics in it that you can control the ambience. The mics are cued to sound like nothing in your ear, and then you can turn them down in 4 dB steps and blend in the ambience in the room with your mix. And you're under control of it all. Sure. So the idea is to get you to keep both in and still give you the best sound you've ever heard. And at a lower level. And a much lower level. Sure. Um, what's the durability of the silicone like compared to plastic? Much better. It doesn't crack. It doesn't shrink. There used to be a soft material. It was a soft acrylic. And they were putting it on the end of plastic, hard acrylic. Right. And it would disintegrate. We used to do that about 20 years ago. But they, they actually break down and break off. But silicone is single piece. And it lasts forever. How strong is it? Well, we also have been doing earpieces in silicone, a number of different ones, for the International Space Station and for all the space shuttles since 1999. Gotcha. So it's able to take going to outer space and come back, go through, you know, Mach 5 through the atmosphere, and um, it doesn't shrink, it doesn't discolor, it doesn't break down, it's perfectly soft and it's the best thing out there. Plastic can break, crack, all that. So. so since it can go to space and back, you're saying it's probably going to handle the few hundred people that we play for at bars tonight so. tonight? Right. We'd hope so. So what, uh, what's the price point like? I see you do, I mean, a bunch of different things. You can get just straight up ears without the ambient, right? Oh, yes, right. But again, we don't do the multi-drivers, so we have two, two drivers three two-driver models, a one-driver model, and a three-driver model, and the three is just two bass speakers. Oh, okay. For people like Usher and some of our clients that want a lot of punchy low end, we make one. So everything we make is solution-driven for the performer, but we aren't there to put in as many speakers as we can to hype up the sound. We try to make it a natural, clean, reference sound. So, like I said, Taylor Swift is going to wear the same thing as John Bon Jovi and Jay-Z, they all have the exact same earphone. 
sure. and people in their bands. So we don't have one for bass players, one for rappers, one for pop right. singers. If you have a reference ear monitor, you have a soundboard to change the things you want to make you want to, right. to cue it to your taste, but that's why ours are, are very popular. So these are probably, I mean, just really flat. They're not accentuating top or bottom. Anything like that's that. correct. There's a little rise in the low end because, to be honest with you, we do studies, we research all the time, and nobody really likes true flat. Right. We give people a flat earphone and we tell them to EQ it the way they want and everybody turns up the bass off flat. Sure. So sure. it's got a little rise in the low end, otherwise you wouldn't like it that much. The three max, the two driver and bass has got quite a bit of low end in it and it's just a different preference. Sure. Uh, so logistically, how do you run the ambient? Does it, what kind of technology is involved with doing that? Uh, there's a belt pack that you have to wear. So the downside, I suppose, people have to wear another pack to process the microphones from their wireless. So the pack has a switch called communication and another one called performance. When you go to communication, it takes the ambient level to full. Unity gain like you took them out of your ears. So if you're rehearsing or you want to talk between songs, you flip that switch and it's like you all took them out and you can talk to each other. Also for a monitor engineer, instead of having to rip it out of his head to hear what the tech's saying, put it back in and start mixing again. Flip the switch, it, it ducks the input to 85 dB, they can hear what they're saying, and they can continue to mix without interrupting it. Sure. Performance mode is determined how much you want by this, this dial in here. Starts off at full and detented, it goes down in four dB steps, minus four, minus eight, all the way down to off. Sure. So you can basically turn the ambient down to what you feel and now it's blended in, you plug this into your out headphone output on your belt pack and off you go. Well that's very cool, I mean it solves a ton of problems and you know, when we first stopped over, I mean the fit's a big thing, I've got plastics which are great, the first minute I'm on stage until I smile or whatever and then and they're then breaking the seal. seal. Yep. So, so yeah. people don't realize ear canals move. They don't move from top to bottom but they do move from side to side. And if you have a piece of plastic in there and it's really tight, that's going to really hurt. Yeah. And so that helps keep them in your ear a little bit. Also something up here called the helix helps keep it in. So on ours, we have a helix. Look. See that piece? The other companies aren't using that. Sure. That, oops, also helps lock it in, so uh, it stays. You can Very cool. on it, it doesn't come out. Very cool. So uh, where can they pick this up? Call Sense of Phonics, go to our website. There's locations and audiologists listed. Just go to find an audiologist and you can go and get one. Awesome. Well, thanks for talking to us. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Take care. Gearzombie.com.